Once upon a time in the not-so-distant past, I was a die-hard fan of a superhero show that captivated everyone. I mean seriously, I loved it before I could spell spandex correctly. This show had everything, eye-catching costumes, rubbery monsters, budget-saving tactics, and explosions cheesier than a fair's nacho platter. It was a comedic buffet, ripe for parody. Oh, the parodies. They came flooding in from every corner of the entertainment world, like a swarm of joke-loving locusts. Even the adorable Wee Bear Bears featured the Green Ranger in one of their funny episodes. And let's not forget about video games and Animaniacs, mischievous troublemakers who also took a playful jab at our beloved superhero series. But guess what? This show decided to poke fun at itself, too. Imagine this. It's 2017, the year of the fan-favorite Power Rangers movie and the somewhat underrated Power Rangers Ninja Steel. A hidden gem, I must say. And amidst it all, a cute, adorable parody emerged from the shadows. It was called Monomorphin Meow Rangers. Try saying that five times fast. And let me tell you, it was a meow-tastic experience, my friends. As Este, your friendly neighborhood video analyzer, I delved into the world of the Cat Rangers. They were the first YouTube sensation to dissect a parody series like dissecting a frog in a high school science class. This show revolved around cats, my fellow feline enthusiasts. These cats donned their own Power Ranger suits and embarked on epic adventures, defending their fluffy friends from evil. The entire series consisted of nine bite-sized episodes that packed a punch. The story followed five sassy cats who transformed into legendary Power Rangers. They were like the Avengers, but with more fur and fewer Iron Man suits. These cats became legendary themselves, gathering millions of views and shares on every social media platform. Cats had taken over the internet, evolving from cute videos to full-fledged Power Rangers. The teaser dropped on January 9, 2017, followed by the first episode on January 10, marking the start of a feline revolution in the online world. Now let's talk about the cast. We had the Red Meow Ranger, Jason, applaud for originality. The Black Meow Ranger, Zack. The Blue Meow Ranger, Billy. The Yellow Meow Ranger, Trini. The Pink Meow Ranger, Kim and the Green Meow Ranger, Tommy. They were a colorful bunch, always referring to each other by their respective colors. After all, who needs names in a dystopian cat-ruled universe, right? And who could forget their wise mentor, Fish Zorin, a fish floating in a tube, ready to share fishy wisdom when the Meow Rangers needed guidance? Oh, the absurdity. But hold on. The Meow Rangers faced their arch-nemesis, Akita Repulsa. This villain was a force to be reckoned with, I mean, who wouldn't be intimidated by a power-hungry dog eyeing world domination? It was a clash of epic proportions, paws versus claws, and fish versus dog. The episodes were filled with jokes and fourth-wall breaks, reminiscent of our beloved Deadpool. And those green screen effects? They went all out. The screen's edges trembled under the weight of their feline awesomeness. Now let's be honest, my friends. As much as I loved this show, and trust me, I did, it had its flaws. The humor relied heavily on simple gags and cat video references, not exactly groundbreaking comedy. They could have pushed the boundaries, explored cats as action heroes in unique ways, but they played it safe. Nonetheless, the series developed a devoted fan base, including me, who couldn't resist the charm of these meow-nificent rangers. Season 1 came and went, leaving us hungry for more cat-tastic adventures. But fear not, for the Halloween special arrived, kicking off Season 2. It was like getting an extra treat in your Halloween bag, a delightful surprise. Season 2 comprised six episodes, brimming with kitty goodness. Now brace yourself for the twist. Remember the Red Meow Ranger, Jason? Well, hold on to your catnip because he got replaced. Gasps and shock filled the air. I couldn't believe it either. But fear not, fellow Meow Ranger enthusiasts, for the show must go on. And it did, with Akita Repulsa making a comeback, joined by a new baddie in town, Goldar Retriever played by an actual dog. The irony was just too delicious to ignore. In the fourth episode of season two, the plot thickened like a bowl of cream left in the sun. We discovered that the once beloved Tommy Cat, a former member of the Meow Rangers, had gone to the dark side. Yes, my friends, he turned evil and aimed to destroy the Meowfin grid. It was a twist worthy of the finest soap operas, full of betrayal, heartache, and scratching posts. The Meow Rangers found themselves powerless, literally, and faced unimaginable challenges. But in the end, they clawed their way back to victory. It was a tale of redemption and triumph, fit for the greatest legends in feline history.